Hey, uh, hey, Aaron. Aaron. Hey, hey. Um, I, I hate, I hate to tell you this, but Sora said you, you didn't do a good enough job, and you have to do it again. I have to do it again. You have to do it. Again. Should I just back disaster it and call it a day? I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna tell you no. All right, back disaster. All right. Back follow? disaster. Alright, what's good everyone? How's it going internet? This is Tristan and welcome back to the 8th try, my long overdue attempt at doing this whole internet thing. You know, this. So, um, I've been gone for a little while. Um, thank you to the few subscribers that I have, uh, friends, family, etc. Um, I haven't been able to produce anything for quite a while um, and that's because uh, the computer that I have been using was a 7 year old um, i5 Intel chip um, Mac, uh, I was an iMac, and every time I tried to edit, it would crash. Thankfully, um, a really good friend of mine was um, able to um, hook me up with a um, laptop to use in the meantime, uh, especially considering the back order on Apple products right now is about 12 weeks or so. But that's not why you're here, and that's not why I'm here. The reason I'm here is what's in here this right here. So, I initially had a different idea what it was gonna do. And that was to go out and attempt to vlog with this wonderful lens right here. Nope, not me. Come on, there you go, right there. This is the Sam Yang 12 millimeter F2 autofocus. And at the time that I started filming with this thing, this was the widest um, prime lens that you would get for APS-C cameras like my Sony A6600. That is until um, Sony decided to drop like three new lenses in the last week and before my uh, YouTube profile was constantly being bombarded by those lenses. So I don't even know if this is even relevant anymore. But what is relevant is a irritating thing that I've discovered about this lens. Um, so before we get into that, why don't we enjoy what footage I was able to salvage from um, our trip to the skate park? Um, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll get we'll get back to um, that other part of the salvage and footage and problem stuff. Yeah, go grab a beer. Be back. All right, we made it alive. We're at the skate park. Now it's time to unload everything. Let's do the thing. All right, time to get all the skateboards out and get all we need to skate. Your head? Ah! Your head. Your head. How can you yes. see anything coming up?
Alright, Sora. It's okay to be a little scared, hey. You know, Daddy's a little scared all the time with his kids. And so is Jewel, he's sometimes a little scared. It is totally okay, you got this, I promise. This is awesome. Here, take a minute, take a second, take a second, take a hug. You got it, you got it, come on. You got Just it, drop in. you got it. Okay. You've done this, come on, let's see it. That was the footage that I was able to actually like, re like keep from um, my first trip using this. Um, what I think happened, and, and I can't say for sure because I haven't tested it yet, is, is that um, Sony doesn't like non-native lenses, right? Um, and this, obviously, not a native lens. When I put it on my camera, I trusted that the um, auto recognition or the auto uh, uh, calibration would know what length this lens is. However, um, after doing some research and talking to some friends, I come to realize that it doesn't really do that. Um, in fact, I, I almost need to go in and manually do it. Um, I've repeated this over and over again. I've taken the lens off put it back on, changed out lenses, and every time when I go into the internal um, body stabilization setting and go from auto to manual, every time the manual setting for this lens is at a different focal length. It's been at eight, it's been at 12, it's been at 10, it's been at uh, 16. Um, so I'm thinking what I need to do is I need to go out and um, test this lens again, um, but this time, manually program the focus length and see if we get some better stabilization. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the same skate park, skate with my kids, film, and uh, vlog a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what future Tristan thinks of that try. So this is now Tristan um, handing you off to future Tristan. Cheers. All right, guys, so now I'm back at the skate park again. I've got the lens set to uh, manual in-body stabilization. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna get a lot better footage today than I did last time. So uh, let's see how it goes, and uh, hopefully it turns out better, and uh, we'll catch you uh, back at the house to uh, review the footage. All right, cool. Boom. Try again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, tight guy. Ready? Three, two, one. Express. Now we oh. have a
You did a rock to fakie? Yeah. Yeah, was it awesome? Yeah. Yeah, super awesome? Yep. All right. So. That experiment didn't quite pan out the way that I hoped it would. So, um, Footage was a little bit better, um, but I definitely still um, had rolling shutter issues, um, focus breathing issues, and um, overall not the performance that I was hoping from a video standpoint. Now um, I've taken plenty of photos um, with this with the Samsung uh, Samyang Samsung Samyang lens. Um, and I like the results that I get from the photos, but just from filming and vlogging, it's still not quite what I was hoping for. Now, of course, as I've gone on this journey and um, continued to work with the lens, I've come to find out that there was a firmware update that came out almost a year ago. Um, yet, despite that, the lens that I got doesn't have that firmware update, which means if I want the firmware update, I have to go and buy the Samyang little dock that I'm gonna use on the only lens that I have by them. Spend like 50, 60 bucks, uh, download it, and hopefully have better autofocus and less focus breathing, um, which will be great when using a gimbal, um, but not necessarily great for like handheld and dealing with the rolling shutter issues that I have when I'm trying to vlog handheld with it. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, not as great for vlogging as I hoped it would be. Um, so at this point, I'm just trying to debate whether I want to um, buy the dock and download the software and see if that makes a difference, um, or do I want to just hold off a few more weeks, trade the lens in, and pick up the new Sony 11 millimeter. Um, everything that I've read about that kind of tells me I should. Um, I really hoped that this would be a great budget, wide-angle vlogging lens. Um, which it is if you're not walking or moving. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of this experiment. This is a long video. It's taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like, do all the things. And uh, yeah, uh, gonna try doing more of these videos. <laughs> um, so try to make it more regular. Finally have a new computer, which helps out a lot. So um, yeah, thanks and catch you next time.